Lord Jesus Christ has commanded you to obey the gospel. Why do you rebel just as you believe Lucifer did when he was commanded something by God? Manu, thank you so much for the call. We've got one more caller. We've only got a minute left. Let's take the last call. Tomorrow night we'll be on Jesus is God. Uh, call us tomorrow night, Manu, and maybe Sam or David might even be listening and watching. Uh, tomorrow night, Manu. Okay, the last caller is Muhammad. Muhammad, you have one minute to state your point. We're about to go off the air. State your point in one minute. Go right ahead, Muhammad. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Yeah, go. I, have, uh, I have one quick question. I called uh, yesterday. I was trying to make a point, but uh, you guys hung up on me. But here's, here's the question. Yes. There is a verse in Bible, which I don't know which verse it is. It says that Jesus is the only way to God. John yes. 14, 6. Um, and uh, if I'm not wrong, you can repeat that. Uh, John, 14, John, 14, 6. John 14, 6, friend. Go ahead. Right. And there is a verse in Surat al-Baqarah, second, uh, second chapter of Quran, 62. Yeah. In the Amanu, I'm not going to read the Arabic. Uh, I don't have the yeah, translation, I know what you're talking about. but it says, but it says uh, uh, all the Muslims, the Yahud, the, the, the Jews, the Nasara, and the people that worship the stars, if they, if they believe to God in, from the truth, yeah. and they... Um, and they, I'm trying to translate it from Farsi to English. Uh, that's why it's taking a Okay, Muhammad, just, just okay, make your point. I know the verse what he's talking about. Okay. He's saying, Go ahead. what he's point ahead, is, Sam. is that Jesus is yeah. intolerant, and the Quran is more tolerant. Oh, Jesus says he's the only way to God. Yeah. Whereas the Quran says, hey, you're a Muslim, you're a good Jew, good Christian Sabian. Hey, if you fear Allah and do good works, then yeah. you know nothing to be afraid of, <laughs> and you'll be saved. As long as you completely ignore the doctrine of you know, abrogation. And not yeah. only that, let's just take what he just said. Yeah. And this is amazing what Muslims do. Yeah. We've tried to be accurate with the New Testament, the yeah. Old Testament, and yeah. the Quran. Uh -huh. He quoted one verse he quoted out of context. Surah 2, 62, Surah Al-Baqarah, 62, is repeated word for word in Surah Al-Ma'idah, 69. Let's read the context of the Quran. What constitutes a good Jew or a Christian? Let me read it. Go ahead. Surah 5, yeah. 69 to 73. Surely those who believe, uh, and those who are the Jews, and the Sabians, and the Christians, whosoever believed in Allah in the last day, and worked righteousness, on them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. This is what right. you're quoting from Surah Al-Baqarah. Right. Continue reading. It says yeah. that if you believe that Jesus is the Son of Allah, if Jesus is Allah, you are a disbeliever. Let yes. me continue reading. That was 569. Mm -hmm. Now let me go and read. 70 to 73. Verily, we took the covenant of the children of Israel and sent them messengers. Whenever they came to them a messenger with what they themselves desire not, a group of them called them, called them liars, and others among them they killed. They thought there will be no fitna, so they became blind and deaf. And that Allah turned to them, yet again many of them became blind and deaf. Allah is the all-seer of what they do. Now, 72, same context, same chapter. Surely they disbelieved who say Allah is the Messiah, son of Mary. So Surah 569 says, a Christian who believes in Allah cannot believe that Jesus is Allah because if he does, he's no longer a believer, he's a disbeliever. So this verse only applies to those Christians who deny that Jesus is the divine Son of God. Well, if you do deny that, you're no longer a Christian now, are you? Mm -hmm. Yes. and That's I, the context. I, I'll just add that according, according to the Quran, since you're saying that, the, that, that Christianity is intolerant, I'll be very brief because we have to go. Yes. But uh, So people, Christians who affirm the deity of Christ, which is all Christians, yeah. are disbelievers. Yeah. Surah 98.6 calls us the worst of creatures right. because, we, uh, because we affirm the deity and of Christ. And we'll go to hell. Yes, yes. Yes. yes, we'll go to, we'll go to yeah. hell. Yeah. Yep. Surah, Surah 9.29 commands Muslims to fight us because we reject Islam. Yes. Surah 930 calls for Allah to destroy Jews and Christians because of our beliefs. Yeah, and if you'd like to go with, uh, with what you're supposed to believe about other religions, Surah 385 mm -hmm. says that if anyone desires a religion other than Islam, it will never be accepted from him. And in the hereafter, he will be one of the losers. What will Christians and Jews be doing in the hereafter? We'll be punished for the sins of Muslims. Finally, Surah 2462. 2462. Muslims remember this. Yeah. It says the only believers are those who believe in Allah and His Messenger. The only true believers. Meaning Muhammad. The only true believers are those who believe in Allah and His Messenger. So Surah 24, 16 says, a true believer has to believe in Muhammad, otherwise they're not true believers. That's so your Christ Quran. So Christianity tells us you have to believe this and it's the only way. And Islam tells us you have to believe in this and it's the only way. The difference is when we examine Islam, 
all the evidence is against it. When we examine the prophethood of Muhammad, all the evidence is against him being a prophet. When we turn to Christianity, all of the evidence tells us that Christianity is true. And on top of all this, we have Jesus' resurrection Amen. from the dead, showing that He's Christianity, not Jesus Islam, Jesus. has God's stamp of approval. Why, Muslims, why are you rejecting the Lord? And Jesus God. is Lord. He's risen. Amen. Amen. And in the Quran, there's more good words about Jesus being uh, more special than Muhammad exactly. himself. Much greater than Very that. interesting. Well, let's close in a time of prayer. And I want to remind you tomorrow night, Jesus is God at 10 p.m. Eastern. And remember to email these guys, Jesus or Muhammad at abnsat.com. They will get those emails. Go to the websites, answeringmuslims.com, answering-islam.org. And right now we're going to end in prayer. Would either one of you like to pray? And uh, before I close, David, want to David, why don't you pray? The Spirit's upon you, brother. Pray. Father God, we thank you for the glorifying testimonies we've heard from your servants around the world over this weekend, Lord. We thank you for the opportunity to share your glorious gospel. We thank you for the opportunity to refute false teachings. Uh, we praise you, Lord, for every argument of Muslims that has been clearly refuted on these programs. We thank you, Lord, that no argument that has been offered by Muslims has succeeded against the truth of your word. We pray that all of those out there who are watching, that the Muslims will uh, be convicted in their hearts and realize that Muhammad yes. cannot be a prophet yes, and then they, that they need to reject what they've been taught and accept your true word, Lord, and the gospel and your death on the cross for the sins of us and as well as your resurrection from the dead and your deity, Lord. We also pray that the Christians around the world will, uh, will be overjoyed, Lord, and as they see that the arguments of Muslims are so easy to refute. They're so weak. And we just praise you, Lord, that you've given us the Hallelujah. truth and the ability to defend it. We praise your name. In Jesus' name, oh, amen. And we thank you, Lord, that Sadiq, that you lay a heavy, heavy Jesus. burden of conviction upon him, Lord, that he would see that your son Jesus is truly God in the flesh and that he would bow the knee before he dies, that he yes, would God. bow the knee and confess with his mouth and believe in the heart that Jesus is Lord and that he would have that peace that we see he, he's in the bonds of iniquity. He, he, he's calling us cowards. He's, he's attacking us. He's saying false things about Sam and David. And uh, we pray, Lord, that you would bring to him truth, not the God which is the God of Allah, the Khair al the, the greatest of deceivers, but the God who says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. And that's not just exclusivistic, that's the truth. Amen. And that's what we must all receive Amen. to go to heaven because God demands perfect righteousness Amen. from you and from all of us in order to get to heaven. Jesus says, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the Pharisees, you shall in no wise enter the kingdom of heaven. And so God sent his son because he wanted to provide a way for you to be saved. And Jesus Christ came the virgin birth, the miraculous birth, lived a perfect life that you couldn't live so you could have the salvation that he deserves, though he got the penalty Amen. that you deserve. And if you will believe on him tonight, you can be saved. You can be born again. And it's not just so you'll go to heaven. It's so you can have days of heaven on earth and come on on the program Hallelujah. and join us and give a testimony and we'll give God the praise. Until next time, remember Jesus Christ is Lord. You can be victorious in and through him and through him alone. And without him, you have no hope whatsoever. Good night. God bless and we'll see you next time.